You know what? We're hearing about pump stations that stopped operating. The problem wasn't the pumps. It was actually a power outage to the pumps. That's one problem. Another problem is just the amount of water we have. We didn't have anywhere to put it. If you take a look behind me, I am at the Rouge River. This is connected to the Ecorse River or the Ecorse Creek, as it's often called, which is where all of that water that you saw on I-94 is sent. And at one point, the creek was so high that the water that was pumped into it was flowing back onto I-94. There simply was nowhere for it to go. What caused these floods? Well, obviously, we got a lot of rain. MDOT tells me much of the infrastructure in Metro Detroit is designed to handle three inches of rain in 24 hours. In some areas, we got about twice that. It raises the question, do we need to prepare to handle more rain? So we definitively have an aging infrastructure that can compete with any third world country. Not anybody should be proud of. U.S. Representative Debbie Dingell is from Dearborn and says to her it is clear as climate change appears to be delivering more rain more often, we need to take action. This is taking a toll. This is, I, I unfortunately can have too many stories from too many years of the damage that Dearborn and Dearborn Heights have seen. Some of the infrastructure was created 50, 100 years ago. It was for the development and for the residential needs at that time. Um, Southeastern Michigan, such as Wayne County and across the state, we've grown so much. Wayne County Department of Public Services Director Beverly Watts says leaders know what the problems are. The issue is funding. I-94 is vulnerable to flooding like we saw because it's relatively low. We rely on pumps to clear water. During this storm, power outages left pump stations useless. Watts wants them modernized with generators. Just to do the one pump station that we're doing, that's $2 million alone, and that's to upgrade one pump station. But then once you pump that water, where does it go? Is there a better option than just sending it into overwhelmed creeks in a storm like we do on I-94? MDOT is building a drain under I-75 right now to prevent floods, like what we saw in 2014 on I-75. It will hold millions of gallons until the municipal drain system can handle that water. However, it will cost about $162 million to build and is much smaller than a drain would be if we were to do the same on I-94. Where's the money? And I, essentially, we do not have the financing to build a drainage tunnel to incorporate all of the suburbs as well as the city of Detroit into a drainage tunnel for 94. So MDOT says it is actively investigating other options for I-94. Perhaps we could have some green space, some retention ponds or wetlands that could absorb the water when the creeks and rivers are overwhelmed. They are working on plans, but again, it's all going to take some money. U.S. Representative Debbie Dingell says she is also asking the Army Corps of Engineers to come up with a plan so that she can lobby for that money. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.